Hey everyone, I'm Allison. I'm Bryce. And, and we're, we're Better, Better Half, Half Reviews. Reviews. And today we're talking about our top 50 games played in 2021. We played more than 50 games, but we decided to dwindle it down and tell you what games we really enjoyed. We did not talk about our lists together, so it'll be a surprise for each of us, though I'm sure we'll have a lot of crossovers. Uh, so for this video, we're going to do 50 through 41. Bryce, kick it off. So my number 50 is Overboss, and I really like the artwork in this game. Cool 8-bit stuff. <laughs> my number 50 is Dragon Prince Battle Charge. It was a really cool game, and I loved the IP for it, so it was awesome to try something with that. So my 49 is Cubitos. Um, I think this is a really interesting racing game, and I like the, the dice drafting mm -hmm. of it. My number 49 is Regicide. It's just, you could play it with a regular deck of cards, but I like the art in the game Regicide. And it's super hard to beat, but it's fun. <laughs> um, my 48 is Haven. This is a nice little two-player game. And it's just fun when, you know, it's only us, and we just want to play something pretty simple. <laughs> and it looks beautiful because it's Red Raven. Uh, my number 48 is Towers and Turrets. This is a small box game from a first-time designer. It's just a simple, like, try to build the tallest tower and get the most points. And I usually win, which I like that. <laughs> uh, my 47 is Heart of Cthulhu. This has some really great artwork, and it's a twist on the Cthulhu games. It's not very Cthulhu-heavy, but it's still in there. Yes. My number 47 is one that he hasn't played. It's Cristallo. It's a solo game that you play, and there's, like, little gems. You're trying to match up cards certain ways. It's just a good puzzle, and I really like it. My 46 is Smash Up. Um, we've only played a few of the factions, but I typically win, so I like it. You typically win. You typically destroy me. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> My number 46 is Flourish. That was by the same creators of Everdell. I really love the art for it. I'm not always the best at the game, but it's worth a try. My 45 is Camp Pine Top. Um, it's a cool little game, kind of reminds me of when I was in Scouts, and you go around doing fun little things like earn merit badges and stuff, so. And my 45 is Crown of Amara. That was a game that kind of surprised me. I'd heard about it, but it just went under the radar. And you have two different boards that have like a rondelle system, so it's kind of cool to figure out the strategy of the game. My 45 is Calico. Um, it's kind of an interesting... 44? Yes, 44. <laughs> My 44 is Calico. Um, it's an interesting little game where you're making a quilt and attracting cute little kitties. I love the colors in that one. My number 44 is Pandemic Fall of Rome. So I like that this has a good twist on the Pandemic games and it's something that I feel like I've been more interested in playing versus the regular game just because it's something different. My 43 is Paladins of the West Kingdom. <laughs> this is the lowest of the West Kingdom games to on him. my list, um, which might surprise them. It didn't surprise me. I was just kind of surprised on how low it was, mm -hmm. or high, I guess, no, however you look at the numbers. But uh, my number 43 is Dingo's Dream. So this is a Red Raven game that's super hard to find, and we happen to score it for a good price and it's just a simple like puzzle but it's it's fun how you move things around and you push tiles so i really like that it's like not amazing for a red raven game but it's still fun so my 42 is actually another red raven game but it is artifacts inc oh okay um it's just an interesting uh game where you're collecting artifacts and trying to score i don't know it's really cool my 42 is Draftosaurus. Apparently I'm going with D's or whatever for this little bit. And it's just cute little dinosaurs and you're collecting them. I just, I just love it. And then my 41 is Parks. Mm. So it's a fun little game uh, where you're just going through a park and trying to collect different national parks, I guess. And uh, I don't know, it's fun. I like the artwork on the different yeah. park cards. My number 41 is Rove. This was like the, one of the smallest games that we played. It's just a deck of cards, small deck of cards. And again, it's a puzzly game where you're trying to like make certain connections. I, I liked it. I lose a lot at it, but it's fun. I like the challenge. 
So that is our 50 through 41. Come back next time for our 40 through 31. That was that was, that was so hard. <laughs> Math. Yeah. So um, real quick, I do have some honorable mentions oh, I wanted okay. to talk about that okay. didn't make the 50, but I still wanted to mention them. Did you okay. have any of those? Um, I guess I can come up with some. Um, so Heart of Cthulhu was on my honorable mention, as was Smash Up. They like just missed the cutoff. Uh, Fun Fair, Cat Lady, and one of my highest, wait, lowest ranked <coughs> was Red Rising. Oh, ouch. Yeah, I didn't like it that much. <laughs> so, um, my honorable mentions, one was Towers and Turrets. It, it was 56, literally just missed the cutoff. Or, f sorry, 51, just missed the cutoff. And then Wolf Walkers. Mm, okay, okay. All right. I wonder what will be on next list. We'll find out. So I'm Allison. I'm Bryce, and we're Bitter Half Reviews. Happy gaming. Have fun.